I'm here in Caldwell Guitars. That guy back there runs the place, Silas. So you are going to school half in school, half homeschooled. Yeah. And you're running this guitar store. You have your nonprofit. You're writing your own original music. We're exclusive for a lot of our brands and we stick to boutique most of the time. But then we also give players the opportunity to try out different, you know, newer brands. So our plan is, as you can tell by the video title, to go through this store and find 10 different things that we think you maybe have never heard before. And if you are interested in any of them or anything that you see in this video, Caldwell Guitars is where you should come. Swartz are incredible. They're made in Wilmington, North Carolina. They're based on an old Gibson amp from the 50s. Kind of reminiscent of it, but it also has its own modern flavor. Worked on it, perfected it a little bit, and added a really cool reverb and tremolo, and uh, I think you'll like it. <laughs> Sweet sound. This Gibson Custom Shop 63 Lightning Rod SG Junior. I'm a big fan of this one. That's my favorite P90 in the shop, and we have lots of guitars with P90s come in and out of here. Plays very easily, has a great sound. <laughs> Third Power Mark II Plus, Third Power Amps. They're made here in Nashville. You can get great cleans, or you can get kind of Mesa gain, or like Baseman, depending on how you use the EQ. It's a very touch sensitive EQ. Hybrid Master, which basically, without going through an actual attenuator, you can keep your exact guitar tone from nothing all the way up to the full uh, volume of the amp. This is a 1955 Gibson ES-125. Uh, made famous by many a great player. Tom York has played these. Mark Rabot has played these. A lot of my favorite guitar players have played these over the years. <laughs> what song was that? Uh, that's a cover, actually, from my new album of a Radiohead song. So it's Burn the Witch. It's actually a song that's composed all of strings. And I turned it into like a rock song. Whoa, that's a little bit of a teaser. Uh, yes, I am putting out a cover and seven other original songs for an album. The first couple songs will drop in October. And in the spirit of up and coming new artistry, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, CMA, the Country Music Association. They have a series called In Their Boots, which they've launched on their YouTube channel, and you can check out the various episodes documenting behind the scenes action in the country music industry. And with these videos in particular, there's a really professional, well done editing tone that puts you right there with the music 
musicians on their unique experience with just their overall lives as gigging musicians. Obviously I live here in Nashville so the country scene is all around me and while I don't dabble in it myself, I do love and respect the work ethic of all my fellow musicians. In the experience of coming up as a musician, the CMA has this series called High Notes, which is about up and coming artists, stage hands, tour managers, and all the people who make country music what it is. You can see how they prepare for the day before a career milestone. It's just a really great channel and that In Their Boots series in particular is a vibe that I try and capture in my own YouTube content. So if you like my stuff, you'll like this stuff. Check the link in my description for full episodes of the In Their Boots series and subscribe to the CMA YouTube channel. All right, let's head back to Caldwell's, shall we? That was <laughs> that was not Coldplay. <laughs> Walking over towards some guitar pedals. This is where it gets very interesting. Okay. Um, Gecko Plex. These are made in Oregon. Super cool recreations of the Echo Plex EP3 uh, with some modern amenities. So you have MIDI in and out, expression, dry and wet output. Uh, you have the gain, which basically adjusts like the EP3 preamp, when Eddie Van Halen wouldn't use the delay on his Echoplex, he would run straight into the preamp just to get that little nice boost. Lots of different controls to manipulate the uh, tape. When you uh, tap on here, this is motorized, so this will move. It's pretty cool. Gotta hear this thing. Prince chord at the end. Yeah. What chord oh, was that? Look at what's on the back of this guitar. <laughs> there we go. Did you even know that was there? I, didn't... <laughs> I feel like I've looked at this guitar so. a bunch and all of a sudden that's... That's back there. That's a nice touch. A nice little touch. I like yeah. that. That might have just sold it for me. kitchen sink six bell an american and ac knob which basically you blend how much fender and how much vox sort of tones you want and you have two switches here you can do brown face or black face fender or top boost and uh, normal like ac 30 tones and you can blend them switch to the second channel and you've got three different marshals you have like a jmp a, a JTM and a Jose mod. You can pretty much play anywhere with this thing. The stage, the house, the arena, Monsters of Rock Tour, I don't know. Vintage 20. I think Vintage Sound is one of those brands that is really picking up steam. This is basically a recreation of a uh, Princeton circuit, but they do it well by doing their own spin on it. 
So you've got what they call a dead EQ, which means when you cut all of these, there's no signal coming out of the amp. I think some Marshall amps are like that. And you can roll up and see how much of an individual band of EQ you want. Dial another one up, you like it there, and then dial up there. It's pretty cool, and you've got an incredible tremolo and reverb. For a brand that hasn't been around that long, they already have great indoor Cs, notably people like Brett Mason, who's an incredible guitar player, by the way. Heard of him. Yes. Jeff Spencer, he builds kind of Tele or Fender style. He also do offsets. This one in particular has Lawler pickups. This is like a Strat style pickup that fits in like a Tele casing. And let's give it a whirl. I'm just gonna buy this and I'll play it at home in another video. That'll be something for you to look forward to, but this is pretty hilarious and I feel like I have to have it. So this is Silas Caldwell. He is 16 years old and he runs Caldwell Guitars here in Nashville, Tennessee. It's me and my dad primarily. Uh, we're, I'm the only full-time employee guy Wednesday through Saturday currently. I caught your show last night at the Vinyl Tap. What is your favorite thing about guitar? Why do you like running a guitar store? You've heard this before, but I mean community. I think it's very important to have a place that feels homey and welcoming and no pretension. It is nice yeah. and homey. This is one of the best guitar store couches I've ever sat on. Perfect height for the guitar. I wish I could put the link in the description, but I don't remember where we got it Yeah, from. no affiliate for this velvety <laughs> couch. It's a bonus if you buy a piece of equipment, but I mean, we haven't even been around two years. We're doing pretty good. We'll move through guitars, basses, pedals, amps. We have a very limited vinyl selection. How do you choose what you keep in the shop? Because all of the stuff you have in here is pretty rare, I would say. Just from my personal experience at guitar stores, there's a lot of unique stuff. How do you set that bar? My dad and I, he would read me interesting books when I was little, like kind of like the oddball stuff you'd find at the bookstore. And, yeah. Uh, I think that's kind of translated to guitars because uh, you likely won't see a Stratocaster or a Les Paul or anything like that. But instead, um, we also serve as a place that smaller brands can put their stuff in, have a Nashville storefront or even a U.S. dealer. I mean, a lot of our brands are international. We have brands from like France, Latvia, Andorra, every continent except Antarctica we, we have pedals from. That's a, that's a good selection. If you were to say what you've learned since you opened your shop in 2022, what's, what's your biggest lesson that you've learned so far? Keep the pretension out the door and uh, and love people. He is 16 years old. It's a good foundation that you have, yeah. and I'm proud to, to know you and be part of this community that you, awesome. you're helping build. This is the guitar that uh, may not be in this shop after I leave because it'll be in my car. And I, would, I don't know, I don't know. I just like the way it looks. What, what's the deal with this thing? I would not blame you because it is very, very cool. Brand is Ghost Planet. Incredible guitars. I don't know too much about it yet because we recently got it in. But you do have a Tele style guitar. If you can see here, you've almost got like a baseball neck. It's beveled here. Yep, you've got cut here, like a cut here. I'm gonna have to support local. He's already made a sale today. Look at him. He's a real businessman. Mm -hmm. 